Well, it's not clear to me what the Prime Minister has been waiting for. It's been as plain as day for weeks now that this was going to be the outcome. But because of Rishi Sunak's weakness, his weakness within his own party, and his failure to put the country first as a result, it's taken a very long time to get here. It's just a shame it's taken him so long that our country continues to be sucked into this mire of sleaze that the Conservatives are delivering for us. And, you know, when Rishi Sunak first became Prime Minister, he promised us uh, integrity and accountability. I think we're a very, very long way away from that. The government has to learn a lesson uh, from this. This should have been dealt with much more quickly. Um, uh, Mr Zahawi should have been asked to step aside uh, even uh, from his role before the conclusions of this inquiry because it shouldn't have been allowed to dominate in this way. And as we can see, it's not just this now. There are other investigations uh, ongoing as well. So they must learn lessons uh, from this and get government focus where it needs to be on the very serious situation that there is out there for millions of people struggling with the cost of living crisis, ambulances queuing outside of hospitals, train timetables that are just non-existent in large parts of the country. Those are the things that the British public urgently need their government to focus on. I know that Nadine wants the investigation to be concluded as quickly as possible. So uh, Have I... Have spoken I, about to him about it? Um, I, I, I know that Nadine wants the, the thing done with. Um, I, I haven't spoken to Laurie Magnus, I wouldn't. Uh, so but I, I don't know. Uh, and, and again, uh, I think it's in everyone's interest that the matter is concluded as quickly as possible. Uh, but it's also the case that you know, when you've got someone specifically appointed to be independent, then me providing a running commentary sure. on, on, on the timing and so on could be misconstrued.